back to my channel. My name is Kathy. for those of you that are new here. Now my channel, Little House in the Suburbs, I do a lot of cleaning and organization type content. So if you like that type, those type of videos, make sure you hit that red subscribe button down at the bottom and turn on those bell notifications so you're notified every time I post a new video. Now in today's video, we're actually going to be doing a master bathroom clean and decorate with me and I'm super excited because I have been waiting to get it all put together so that I can have a nice place to get ready in the morning and have it all organized. So make sure you guys stick around to the end of the video so you can see the final result of how I decorated my master bathroom. So let's get right on into it. Come on guys! And the first step to any good clean or organization is to make sure that the surface you're working with is cleared off. So that's what I went ahead and did first. I cleared everything off my counter so I had a clear surface to start working with. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is just go ahead and wipe down the mirror first. And like I mentioned in my previous videos, I like to use newspaper because it leaves it streak free. And this is just something that I learned when I worked at a restaurant in high school. It was something that we always cleaned the mirrors off with. And then next, I'm just gonna wipe everything down with an all-purpose spray, and I just like the way it smells. And then after this, I will sanitize some of the areas that are sometimes, I feel like, forgotten, um, just like the light switch and the faucets that everyone touches. Something else that typically gets forgotten is light fixtures. So about once a month, I like to just get up here and give it a nice clean just to make sure it doesn't get super dusty. And then of course I have to clean the toilet. So I'm just gonna give it a good little scrub with my toilet Clorox wand and then wipe it down with some antibacterial uh, bathroom spray. Now onto the fun part, decorating my bathroom. So I'm just showing you the little shelf that I plan on hanging since I don't have a bathroom cabinet on the wall. And then some accessories, I'm not sure exactly if I was gonna use all of these, but I wanted to show you everything that I got. Some of it I picked up from Hobby Lobby or Target, and then my mom had a couple of things like the Willow's Angel that she gave to me to put over here to accessorize. And I actually had already nailed in the holes before I turned the camera on. So I'm just showing you guys how I make sure that it is level before I hang anything. And you guys will see me move things around quite a few times and that's just because I like to play around with it and see kind of work what works best in that space. I'm super proud of these finds. These actually came from the Dollar Tree and they're candle holders, but I'm gonna use them as a stand for this box that I made in this woodworking class. And I'm gonna actually put all of my things in there to keep them off the counters. And isn't this just the cutest container? I ended up putting ponytails in here. My mom had it and she gave it to me and I just think it's the perfect color to go with my bathroom and in my room in general, I love blue and I'm a huge fan of this really light like pastel type blue. It's kind of like a mint color and I don't mean to buy everything in this color. It just sort of happens and uh, I've just gone with it and ended up accessorizing a lot of my room with this color. Mm -hmm. 
Alrighty guys, so here you guys have it. This is my cleaned and decorated master bathroom. I've been waiting so long to get this space decorated and I'm super pleased with how it turned out. All of the accessories that I found and been picking up just came together and I could not be happier. I just feel so happy getting ready in this space. Everything is so in sync and this is my absolute favorite coloring scheme. So just super happy getting ready in here in the mornings. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up down below. Leave a comment and let me know what color you end up buying, even though you don't mean to, to accessorize your home. And again, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure you hit that red subscribe button down below. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube community. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone!